Hi, I'm Mr. V, and I'm going to explain to you why the diamond works as it does. Sometimes we call it the cross. If I have uh, two binomials, x plus m and x plus n, and I want to multiply them out, you can see that if I were to put these into an area model, like the box, you have x plus m times x plus n. And I'm going to multiply the rows by the columns. So I have x times x is x squared. x times m is mx. x times n is nx. And m times n is m times n. When I write these out, I can go x squared plus mx plus nx plus mn. And these both have an x in common, these middle terms. These two terms are like terms. So I'm going to combine them. And I'll write this as x squared plus m plus n times x plus m times n. And if you'll notice, this equation is in the form of, um, let me change colors here, ax squared plus bx plus c. So I have these coefficients, a and b, and this constant, c. And if we look at the diamond shape that we're so fond of using to factor, if we have an m here and an n here, those are the two numbers that are going to be my factors here and here. And if you look at their product on the top, it's m times n, and their sum on the bottom, m plus n. Well. This term, this B term, is the sum, and this C term is the product. This also will work if we have a leading coefficient that is not 1, but that's a whole other day of discussion. Just know that using the diamond is a very practical way of finding a factor if there exists a factor. Good luck and success.